guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Um, okay, so real quick, let me start this off. I am recording this video right now at 9 a.m. I think that there is a small chance, I think it's only a small chance we could see Celebration Info on JP at 10 a.m. Now, I don't actually think that's going to happen because this is Global and JP at the same time. Typically, like, um release schedules when info comes out everything is typically jumbled in a mess when these uh global and jp are, are sort of having stuff at the same time follow me here what i think is going to happen is i think that uh for me at 1 a.m on the 27th i think is when we'll probably get celebration info for global and jp um and then i think uh the banners will be dropping at 7 a.m on the 27th my time so, basically, I think that we're going to be getting the banners in 22 hours from now. They have never released a banner at that time. The usual banner release time is 4 a.m. on JP. This is going to be three years, or three, excuse me, hours later. Um, I do want to point out that Global has not had their data download yet. It has not happened, right? So, we do want to keep that in mind. Um, let me, real quick, pull up the schedule right here. So, if we go ahead and take a look at it. Um, again, they're going to be dropping uh, tomorrow um, at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. That, or excuse me, God dang, I can't talk. They're at 7 a.m. Eastern is when these units are going to be dropping. Um, it's going to be the Goku and Gohan unit, the Super Saiyan Vegeta, the Transforming Cell, um, and then the 16 and Android 18. We also have two EZAs in here, STR Ultimate Gohan on May 2nd, which is about a week away. And then, of course, we also have the Super Saiyan Vegeta Honestly, it's a little weird to me that Ultimate Gohan is in the data download because he comes out next week. It's a little, it's a little weird to me. Like, I assume it's because oh, 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 it's because it's Golden Week. Okay, that's why. So, um, Golden Week, if you guys are not aware, is a string of holidays in Japan. So they're just putting the shit in for next week right now. Okay, I literally remember Legends did this with uh, Zenkai Super Saiyan Four Goku last year. That the reason Ultimate Gohan is in there right now is because it's they they're i guess assume not going to be working in the office in the upcoming days or whatever it makes sense right so uh scr ultimate gohan under a normal celebration we would not have seen scr ultimate gohan um until what he would have been tweeted on like the 30th or something like that and that's when we would have found out that ultimate gohan is actually getting his eza rather than him just being in the data download dumped in there um and then vegeta's coming on the 20th so vegeta's not coming to global um, if, if Global was getting Vegeta, or if Global was getting Vegeta, I think he would have been, you know, like, he, if he would have released a little bit out, that's, I, I was actually surprised to see Vegeta in the data download, because I was thinking he might still come to Global at the same time, but considering he comes out, you know, on the 28th, I, I just, I just don't think so, right? I don't think we're gonna see Vegeta, um, on Global Dokkan, so, I guess let's go ahead and jump in, there's not really too much here, Besides, you know, the um, all of the new characters, right? You know, we have the EZAs for Gohan, um, as well as Prime Battle Vegeta. I know both Global and JP are going to be getting two new difficult stages uh, for Super Battle Road. But I think that's pretty much it. Seems like the celebration is not really too crazy. I, I just... If this celebration is not crazy, I think that 100% cements... This was not the original Golden Week. I am so sure of that they were gonna do dragon ball super superhero if this like i i i don't want to say these characters are bad cell and the goku and gohan because they're certainly not right we'll get into it in a second but i you know there are a little certain pieces of their animation and stuff like that that feel a little bit off to me for dual dokkan fest characters i i think that these guys were potentially going to come out later maybe even be touched up a little bit more um and things got moved around and they're dropping now i think um, since the movie was delayed. So we will see, right? Um, all right, so let's go ahead and jump in. Let's take a look at these characters here. So let's start with Goku and Gohan. They're the most high profile unit. Um, they have one of the best leader skills in the game. Remember that 200% obviously are the big sexiness, right? Of course, of course. But really 170% is, is what you need. Just a full 170% across the board is, is what you need. Super Saiyans and Goku family full 170% is really nasty. Um, the 30% buff for Goku and Gohan is pretty bad, especially when you compare it to Cells. Cells is, uh, like, it is so perfectly designed. It's crazy, 
right? They actually complete like they completely nailed Cell's leader skill for sure. Um, I think he's gonna probably have a more exciting leader skill for a lot of people because it's like the units that are gonna get buffed here. You know, it, it's literally only like all of the Super Saiyans um, from the arc is, is basically it, right? Because it's Goku family and then Super Saiyan category characters. So all all the Goku. Um, Gohan, Trunks, Vegeta, and future Gohan units, um, are going to be getting the 200% leader skill. Um, but I guess, actually, that, that doesn't include this character. This character got shafted beyond belief, right? Because it's like, they're not on Super Saiyan because of Trunks, and then they're not on Goku Family because of Trunks, and so they're just not on the 200%. They got shafted beyond belief, which sucks, because... This unit under 200% would be very helpful. Like, LR Future Gohan could use the extra stats for sure. Um, now, I this unit is, I think, going to be a little bit hard for me to judge right away. I'm going to need more experience utilizing this character, taking them into red zone, right? To really see what they have to, to, to offer us. Um, but I will say this, right? Let, let's Goku, I think, is a great Super Battle Road character. I think Goku will be incredible in Super Battle Road. I envision this guy as like a floater or something in Super Battle Road. High chance of stunning the enemy. From what I was seeing, he was sitting at about 200k defense start of turn. He's getting another 59% defense right there. Another 30% defense right there. And another 20% defense right here. Like he gets these buffs as he's dodging. So if you have him in Super Battle Road, he's going to have a high chance to dodge and, you know, maybe 350k plus defense, something like that. So I think this Super Saiyan Goku can look pretty damn good with the high chance to stun. Now, when it comes to real difficult content, you know, Broly Red Zone, Omega Shenron Red Zone, how is Goku going to perform? I, you know, I want to see. Um, but I, I definitely could potentially slide him into slot two. You know, maybe we have Tech Ultimate Gohan in slot one or... I don't know, uh, what, what's what's another character I might bring? Some Saw one character, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Off, off the top of my head, I can't think of one. If we're fighting Broly, you can, AGL Kid Gohan can go in slot one, because um, Broly is SCR. What, actually, well, hold on, wait, wait, wait. One thing to talk about with this, and Goku, and the reason this does matter, both Broly and Omega, the two hardest bosses in the game by far, both of them can be stunned the very first fight. So, Goku can actually really help you gain, like, a strong foothold at the start of the fight, get your rotations in check, and then prepare to proceed into deeper into the Omega and Broly fights. I, I don't know. I I feel like maybe a lot of the community was a bit too harsh on Super Saiyan Goku. He might be better than we're thinking. I, I, I think. Now, Gohan. I, dude. Gohan to me seems like he's like I, I I think this is the strongest TUR character right here, this Gohan. But it's not easy to get him out because Goku, you have to super attack. This is tough, dude. Three super attacks in your head, you might think, dude, this is not bad at all. Goku doesn't have additionals built into his kit, right? So the minimum turn you could ever see Gohan is turn five. That is the absolute minimum. That would involve Goku double supering either turn one or on turn three, and then Gohan, you'll swap. No, but a lot of times, you know, you can super attack turn one, super attack turn three, super attack turn five, and then you get Gohan on turn seven. Turn seven, dude, I we need Gohan for AoE Broly or some shit like that, right? It, it's like... If Goku does not additional super, you're in trouble when you're fighting the really tough bosses. You need to get Gohan out. Gohan is a god. Now, the thing about Gohan, right? So, he guards his first three turns. Now, one thing I do need to uh, for people to understand, too. This does matter with this guy also. Um, and his guard. The way his guard works. These Gohans... Guard, they're both STR. They guard against physical type characters. So, like, this Gohan, you know, has a high chance to guard. I don't know exactly how this works yet. I, I'm mixing the unit breakdown with another one. I don't exactly know how this guy's guard works. I haven't tested it enough. I remember that this character, it's written the same way as Gohan. This guy could guard mid turn. It's like it wasn't always the first hit. Like, he could just guard mid turn. Other people said, like, yeah, he can do that. 
So I think this Gohan should be able to do that as well. It's high chance to guard, but I believe it could activate mid-turn. It's a hit-by-hit -hit basis, not a start-of-turn basis. Now, I have not confirmed it yet. Um, I, I would like to do some more testing to sort of see. Um, but both Ultimate Gohans, if they get hit by a physical enemy, it counts. The game counts it as guarding. So for this Gohan, right... Who gets these buffs? He gets 58% defense when he guards twice. He gets 58% attack and defense when he guards four times. And then permanent guard when he guards six times. Hits from a physical character count as a guard. So it's like with proper usage of this guy and this guy, you know, if you're fighting a certain difficult event and you know like there's a physical phase, you can ensure you will guard with these characters if you utilize that physical phase to good effect, right? Now, currently... The two toughest fights in the game, Omega and Broly, do not have a physical phase in there, right? Broly goes STR, Tech, STR, AGL, and then Omega goes Int, STR, Int, right? So, you're not going to be able to take advantage of that in the two fights where you'd really want to, but I did want to point that out. Um, What else do we have going on with Gohan here? Uh, I should probably talk about this right here. So, at the moment, the way I understand it is it might be bugged. In a lot of people's private server showcases, people have not been able to get Gohan to counter, like, Evolution Blue Vegeta. Um, you cannot dodge certain bosses in the game. Um, Evolution Blue Vegeta at the end of the Legendary Vegeta event. You know, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Goku at the end of the Le GT Legendary Goku event. Um, Red Zone Broly. You cannot dodge them. Um, but you can nullify their attacks. So, for Gohan, it's nullifying and countering so that means he could he would do it against broly he would not take the damage from broly red zone broly and then counter people have not been able to do that in game now i, I was told that there's line of code in there for gohan nullifying so he is supposed to be able to do it it might just be bugged for now i would imagine in a week gohan will be nullifying beams and then being able to counter them. But as of right now, it seems as though he might not be able to. Again, I think it's a bug that he's not able to counter Evolution Blue Vegeta, Red Zone Broly, and stuff like that right now. But it will be fixed at some point. That is really impactful. Great chance of nullifying Key Blast Supers is incredibly strong. Gohan also does have a new multiplier, Ferocious Power right here. Which is 400%. Um, let me actually just quickly pull up... LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. He's the the, uh, the easiest character. I can just show the difference right here. You guys have seen the insanity that LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta does, right? The damage. He'll he'll knock off five health bars off of red zone bosses with his uh, counter. His counter is only 300%. So, Gohan... I, dude. You're going to be stacking attack with Goku. And then you can go to Gohan, and his super attack counter is going to hit so hard. You are going to decimate bosses. You want to know what this Gohan is? He is a unit designed for Red Zone Broly. That's what this Gohan is. The final two phases of Broly are key blast super attacks. This is a guarding character that nullifies key blast supers, which Broly does. This unit is an is a unit to beat Red Zone Broly. That's what this Gohan is right here. And that's why I think he's so good. Um, maybe even better than Ginyu. I, I think this Gohan is probably better than Goku Ginyu, who you guys know. I am the biggest Goku Captain Ginyu fan there is. I, his team is crazy. He's crazy. The heights that this Gohan can reach, I think, um, realistically, are higher than Ginyu, right? Ginyu can stack and do all this, but realistically, when you're going through, like, Red Zone Broly, Ginyu is not rocking a million defense against Broly. It, it, the fight is too fast, right? Like, it's... It, Broly gets to his shit-kicking in form way too quickly. Um, but Gohan is guarding, right? Gohan will start out low defense, you know, 200k-ish, not the craziest ever. But once you get those four guards and he gets this, he gets this. Don't forget that he does have this right here, 50%. Um, he's going to be impervious to taking damage after he supers. Um, Gohan is very good. Um, is he the best TUR? I, I would say no, because I don't think Goku is good enough to really warrant this unit being called the best TUR. I would probably... <clears throat> I don't know. I would probably say something like Ginyu 
Super Saiyan 3 Goku maybe sell Kid Buu this unit. Maybe. I... It, I, I want to use this character more. Um, we might as well piggyback into jump, talking about Cell. Um, now, here's the thing with Cell. Okay, I already explained why I pulled this guy up related to L Ultimate Gohan. We'll just... I talked about Ultimate Gohan. We'll finish him. I need more time with this character. Um, he is a high chance to guard, which, again, I'm not sure if it's a hit-by-hit -hit basis, start a turn, or what. Full 170% lead to Hybrid Saiyans is uh, massive. He is greatly stacking attack, greatly raising defense. I think he's very good. I think on any given turn, he can be better than EGL Evolution Blue Vegeta. Any given turn, he could be better than Turles, for sure. Because this Gohan will be able to to eat attacks against the toughest bosses in the game, um, including their supers. But it's like, if he doesn't guard, you're dead, right? Support could have been better. Entrusted Will is fine. I mean, if we look at Entrusted Will, you have a lot of ultra-powerful you know, Goku family characters in here, hybrid Saiyans in here. You have a lot of very powerful characters that Gohan will be supporting. But, I mean, it, it could have just been all allies, right? So we'll see. We'll see. We will see how good this ultimate Gohan's going to look. I do expect this guy to come out in global as well. Um, so, Cell. Cell. Um, <clears throat> so, I, I, we looked at him in Super Battle Road last night as well um, against multiple enemies. Cell defensively. It, like, in Super Battle Rod, you're not putting him in slot one, right? I mean, you, you could. I mean, he's not going to get you. He'll be able to live a super attack where most characters probably wouldn't. Um, <clears throat> but the thing about first form Cell and then second form Cell is they get stronger against multiple enemies. Um, in Super Battle Road, they'll do ridiculous amounts of damage. Um, but it's, you know, you're going to want to be a little careful. Maybe if, if you get the 35% chance to dodge to activate, like, you know, things can be looking good for sure. Um, I'm not really the craziest about first form cell, second form cell. I mean, like, they're okay, right? Like, it's like, I, I think they'll be able to be solid. This cell against one enemy is really not that impressive. He's not. No way. He's okay, but at least it's nothing crazy. Second form cell gets a little bit better. But, <laughs> um, you get the perfect cell. Perfect cell is, like, I... I... Probably would say he's a slightly better Kid Buu, is the way I feel about him after using him. He that's what he feels like Kid Buu. He's the same type of unit. Um I, I saw Cell do a triple 10 million attack set. You guys know Kid Buu does that. The thing is though, I feel like Cell gets to this easier than Kid Buu gets to his power, right? Because Kid Buu has to get hit six times. For Cell, it's just get to turn five. That's it. Cell uh, Cell transforms in a second form on turn three. And then he transforms into perfect just literally the next turn. So turn five is what you'll get selling uh, uh, like 100% of the time. Like turn five or turn six. Uh, unless you float him off on like turn four, right? It, it, regardless, his third appearance, he's perfect sell. Um, Kid Buu, depending upon your luck, right? You might not be able to get Kid Buu's active skill even on his third appearance, right? Um, Kid Buu gets it auto against a Buu Saga enemy or if he gets hit six times. Um, so I think you get perfect sellout easier than you get a fully built up Kid Buu. Um, although, I mean, Kid Buu only has to do, what, four attacks and then get hit six times. Really not that bad. But either is this guy. Um, the thing that first that's going to hold Cell back right now, I so, I've seen a lot of copium about it. All the other cells in the game basically suck. The only Cell... I would say is like actually uh, good. Really, it's like second. Let me let me pull up the cells. Um, I don't. From what I've seen of in LR cell, he's just eight. He's power crept at this point. Um, it's like you know you could pretend like his defensive stats stuff like that are good and stuff like that. I, he'll he'll get you killed in a line share of the stuff in cell and LR physical cell. Now you know I'll I'll use them a bit more. We'll see if we can make it work with you know in cell and EGL cell together. I do think. Cell's team could no item Broly. I do. The, the, this team, the Andros has Cell Saga Power Absorption 200% team. I think you could no item Broly with it. Because um, Android 19 and 20 cannot be hit by Broly's super attacks. Um, they nullify it. No, they they do, you know, do like the absorption nullification thing. And then 17 and 18 also cannot be hit by Broly's super attacks. That's the thing. With 17 and 18, 19 and 20, and LR Super 17 alongside this guy, this guy giving them a real leader skill. Uh, this guy, if he gets hit by a super attack, he could take a lot of damage. But if Cell triple supers, 
and you know you have this so he can triple super cell's going to be on the the verge of a million defense on some turns so it's like you you're running him in like slot 2 or something like that i will no item broly with with the android team easily 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 i think i think the android team with this cell is now all of a sudden uh, like borderline the best team in the game because even though cell does not work the greatest with a lot of these androids it that you guys are about to see what this character can now do right I, like it's not like they work that well with cell they don't but it's like they have a 200% leader skill you have 19 and 20 you have lr super 17 who has type advantage against agl broly along with his high defenses he'll be okay right you know we could rock agl super 17 Again, they can they they can't get super attacked by Broly. We're gonna. I feel like this team shits on Broly because of seventeen and eighteen and nineteen and twenty. That's why. Um. So things are about to get nasty in the red zone. Um. We will be dancing on Broly. I think with this cell and with the Android team. So, <laughs> like I I just look at it. If you have happened, I don't think the Android the Androids are not going to be on Global's banner. Stop that. Stop. Stop. I don't think the Androids will be on a banner for Global probably until after anniversary. Remember that the androids have not even returned on JP yet. The androids will be on the banner in May. I don't think you'll, you guys will see the androids probably um, on a banner um, before anniversary. So you guys won't be able to completely curb stomp red zone. Um, like, with you know, if you didn't pull the androids, of course. So, like, 17, 18, or 19, and 20, stuff like that. But if you get this cell, his android team is going to destroy red zone, I think. Um, and the other thing, too, is that... <laughs> dude, I... So I'm I'm positive this was going to be Dragon Ball Super Superhero stuff. Why do you think they put Cell and Gohan right here? I, I really think Cell is going to be in the movie, right? So if they drop a better Cell than this Cell right here, Platinum Cell, Golden Cell, some shit like that, I don't know. Who knows, right? Um, I think uh, the Android team is going to be like, damn, they're the best team in the game, man. It's going to get real nasty. We know Gamma 1 and 2 are coming as well. Things could get very nasty very quick. Cell is very good. Um, he has this rage one as well. I mean, it's nothing super crazy. He does do guaranteed crits in here. You know, I could definitely see like winning against like red zone Broly. Like, you know, we're just skating by and then we're able to get Cell's active skill off. He does guaranteed crits. He does immense, which enemies don't do immense. Like, like these giant rage transformations. What, what is it? It's like catastrophic damage. Can I pull up? Do they have it? Uh... No, they don't have it. There's, like, a section for, like, rage care. Let me just pull up one of these characters, right? Like, uh, let's do rage. No, we could do Beerus. I get the Beerus faster. Let me just pull up uh, rage Beerus, because I believe it's, like, um, catastrophic damage or whatever. But this, this bro like, he's just doing straight up. Uh, let me see. No, okay, he is just doing immense. Bro okay, Beerus is doing immense as well. Was well, that just wrong about that? I, maybe I'm just thinking of uh, Great Apes, because I know, like, Harutagarn and all those characters... Um, what does the Vegeta and Bulma do? Let me see. Supreme. Okay, so I guess that's not how, how these types of characters work. And what it is, is it's, uh, characters like this over here. Um, these are the characters that I was thinking of that do catastrophic. It's the, the, the great apes, right? Here, pull it up. Yeah, God damn you. Um, yeah, right here. Dest or destructive, whatever. You get what I'm saying. All right, so Cell is very good. Um, if you pull him, cool. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see what the banners look like in full-on global. Um, JP is getting Kid Boo and Super Saiyan 3 Goku back. I mean, they were on banners in December, returning for the first time. Global's banners are still up at the, the moment, aren't they? Right? So, these two definitely looking pretty good. Um, we also do have... This guy just sucks. I'm sorry. He's just not really that good. Um, they didn't really make him good enough to merit any usage. If he triple or quadruple super attacks, uh, he could be like, okay. Um, but that's it. I mean, you just, the dude, I, <laughs> I like, uh, it's, you know, like, what do you expect? You see any difference at all? Vegeta has higher stats. Yeah. But like, you know. It's, it's, it's noticeable. L good LRs these days are not getting fit. Like this is what LRs passives look like in like 2017, right? 
Like, th this is the type of shit they would get. Watch, I'll prove this. Let me pull up Beerus. Beerus is a 2018 LR, but let's... let's they, what is... I think Beerus is 90% attack and defense. And then, um... They get extra attack and defense when they get hit as well. Oh, no. So, yeah. 80% attack... Yeah, see... <laughs> dude, they gave this Vegeta 2018 passive. <laughs> LR passive. You guys think that's good? <laughs> Come on, man. You gotta... Stop this. Stop this foolishness. Get out of here. All right, goodbye. You suck. Um, so then we have 16 and 18. I, dude, I, I mean, I haven't had a chance to actually, like, look at them in game yet. Um, they're bad. A horribly designed unit. Um, they didn't get a lot of defense at the start of turn, but it's like this unit... The problem with this character is that they're a defensive and support type character. This support buff is fine that they're giving down here, but they're not giving key. Key is a very important... I don't like using support units that don't give key. I mean, you know, something like Dokkan Fest Captain Ginyu. I mean, he's doing a lot more than... He, like, support... It, like, that's, like, tacked on at the end. This character... This is not a Dokkan Fest character. This character's not coming out doing 7-plus million attack stats. This is a defense and support character. They give them a medium chance to guard. Medium chance to be super effective against all types. Right? Like, what are they thinking? This character sucks. This, this is trash. You can compare this to Raccoon and Gold, though. 19 and 20. Heart Virus Goku. This is fodder. What is this? Like, I They have to be hitting 500k plus defense to be solid. If they're breaking 500k defense after they super attack, sure. But if that's not what they're doing, they're not that good. Because guess what? Their stats ain't that good. They don't have cell stats where they're at 11,500 defense, right? 17,000 attack. They're they're a damn borderline. Like, what are they at? Like, uh, so this, dude, my brain. Yeah, they're, they're like, like 13,900 right there. And then they're under 10,000 defense. Like, it's just not good enough. Um, Vegeta, I don't know. I need to, I have not seen Vegeta, um, either. Um, but I think Vegeta potentially could be good. If you get, um, what is it? Five attacks. And then he gets this extra hundred percent right here. He could be solid. Um, I do think so. Collecting three key spheres shouldn't be the hardest deal ever, right? Um, and then, so, like, you know, he's going to be doing, what, three attacks with three key spheres? You get the additional attack, then he's done four. Next turn, you know, he's going to be able to get the extra 100% attack and defense. Um, I think this Vegeta potentially could be solid. I think he's probably better than the Prime Battle LR Vegeta. Uh, I think probably pretty comfortably. Um, I was just, it's very bizarre. I don't like. I don't. I, I. I don't know what they're thinking. Like LR Prime Metal Vegeta, and then they, a banner unit Vegeta at the same time. Like, you know what I want? I want the Prime Battle LR Vegeta. I want him to just get a Dokkan Fest to fight against Android. And I think Vegeta de deserves it. Vegeta's first time going Super Saiyan. I think he deserves a Dokkan Fest for that moment against Android nineteen for sure. All right. Um, and that would be our, you know, our third usable Super Saiyan Vegeta from the Android Sass Cell Saga, because this is just Super Saiyan Vegeta, right? It's not Super Vegeta. So, let me know what you guys think of the data download. Global has not had their data download yet. So, I, who knows at what time that's going to happen today. Again, these units are going to be dropping in about 21 hours from now. Um, and we will see... Um, how hype it's going to be for both global and GP players. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Oh, by the way, I'm going to upload this at 10 a.m. if there's no celebration info. Um, if there's celebration info... Actually, I'm just going to upload this right away, I guess. I don't... JP Data Download, thanks y'all for watching. Goodbye.